true awakened beingness is going to always come along with love and non-judgment. And that's how you'll know. If you get to the stage where you're not even judging the act that you would normally have to provide forgiveness for, then you have transmuted it. And that's a much higher level of transcendence and it's realization of love. It's no longer being triggered even by the act of it. The field of my resonance expands by the degree to which my heart is open. So if my heart field is very powerful, then the entire world can change. That's what ascended avatars do. Richard Rudd refers to as the golden thread, that every person you touch, every person you meet, you literally will turn that aspect of lead into gold. That's what alchemy truly is about, coming to grips with the acceptance of the differences and falling in love with those differences rather than trying to butt up against them. To realize the value of the other, that is the balance. If I could sum up the entire Kybalion and the, and the understanding that is the basis of all of it, it's realizing the love. The one truth that exists, the only truth, is the love that underlies it all. It's the thing that binds together the universe. Love is metaphysical gravity. It is the gravity. It's the thing that's unknown to us that we have to bring to light. It's that darkness that's from Divine Mother that holds and binds the whole universe together. This understanding that love is the basis of all of it, this is why love is the only thing that can transcend duality. Love is the only thing that can transcend time.